Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you guys are doing really good. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to bake a healthy cake which is gluten free. It's refined sugar free and also you do not need any oven to bake this cake. Also one bowl is just required. So you only need one bowl to make this entire cake. It's super easy to make, tastes really good. And also don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And let's go make this ragi chocolate cake which is sweetened with jaggery. So for this recipe you just require one bowl and we are going to add all the ingredients in this bowl. So first what I did is I took some yogurt and then I added baking soda into it. So mix this really well and keep it aside for 5 minutes. So you will see that the curd starts bubbling up. So the curd has to just bubble up a little bit. So now keep mixing it. So if you want to make it vegan, you can use vegan curd. That is fine. And just keep mixing it. And now you can see that it just starts immediately bubbling up a bit. So keep this aside for 5 minutes. And once it just bubbles properly, we are going to add the remaining ingredients. So first I have added jaggery powder. I always make sure that the jaggery is really in fine powder form. It just makes the mixing also very easy. Then in the same bowl we are going to add is some milk. And uh, you can take soya milk, almond milk. That is also fine if you are making it vegan. I have added little bit of butter. Instead of butter you can add uh, melted butter. Instead of that you can add oil. That is fine. Coconut oil. That is also fine. Same quantity. Then I have added ragi flour into this. And then last is some cocoa powder. Just mix everything very well and we are also going to add some baking powder into it. If you want to add some nuts and everything that also can be added in this stage. So I added a little bit of baking powder. I am just going to mix everything. Once everything is mixed well, I have topped it up with some chocolate pieces. But again as I said nuts, uh, you know tutti frutti, anything can be added. So now this is done. I'm just going to clean the side so that when the cake comes out, it looks really nice. It doesn't look much messy, the bowl also. And then I've topped up some dark chocolate. Here I've used Amul dark chocolate, but you can use any chocolate of your choice. Milk chocolate, white chocolate, that is also fine. And uh, now once that is done, so what I'm going to do is, um, I've used the microwave for this recipe, but if you want to bake it into the oven, you can do that at 180 degrees for I think 20 minutes. Just use a toothpick to see if the uh, cake has is baked properly. Here I am adding it into the microwave. Regular settings, no change. This is the simple microwave. I have not used convection also. I just put a timer of 3 minutes. But it could take a little more time. So for me it took around, it took around 3 minutes. But you can do... You know, 310, 315 minutes, that much is fine. And have it warm. And you can see how beautiful this cake has turned out. Just look at the texture. 